Hi, I'm Allison Santoro with CNY Fertility's Donor Egg Program here with you today to talk about becoming an egg donor recipient. I'm going to start by talking about our various packages that we offer. Our first package option is for six fresh eggs, which includes a fresh embryo transfer. This package option will offer you your best success at 55%. Our second package option is for six fresh eggs to create and freeze embryos. With this package option, your success is 50%. We do encourage you to have your partner's frozen sperm on hand for when the donor is ready for egg retrieval. If you are using donor sperm, we would like the donor sperm here and in our office prior to the start of the donor cycle. Our third package option is for six frozen eggs or banked eggs, and this package option offers you a 45% success rate. You may choose to create your embryos and freeze them or transfer fresh embryos with this package. Our fourth package option is for banked eggs to add on to your own IVF cycle. This option will allow you to use your own eggs, but offer you the opportunity to add on additional embryos made from donor eggs, thus improving your chances for a positive outcome. There is a workup involved with our donor egg program that we do require for all our recipients. The first requirement is for your preconception labs. Preconception labs are your blood type and screen, Hep B, Hep C, HIV testing, syphilis screen, and rubella testing. The next piece to your recipient workup is the dye test, or HSG. We want to make sure that we rule out any uterine abnormalities, fibroids, or uterine polyps before moving forward with the egg donor cycle. With the donor egg cycle, we know you're investing a lot of time, money, energy, and also emotions with the process, so we don't want to look back and regret not having looked at your uterine cavity first. With your recipient workup, we do want to look at the sperm source. If you're using partner sperm, we want to have a semen analysis completed within 12 months of your donor egg cycle. If you are using donor sperm, we just want to make sure that you select your donor sperm and have it shipped to our office prior to your cycle. The next piece to your recipient workup is the mock cycle. The purpose of the mock cycle is to see how your uterine lining responds to estrogen only. We want to make sure that we can prepare your uterine lining for transfer for when your donor is ready for her egg retrieval. The mock cycle is only required if you plan to have a fresh embryo transfer. For those recipients 50 years of age or older, we will require a complete physical and medical clearances from your primary doctor and OBGYN before you can move forward with our program. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about donor selection and matching with an egg donor. All our donors can be viewed right through your patient portal. To find the donors in your patient portal, you will need to go to your main frame and click on available donors in the upper right hand side of your screen. When you click on available donors, their photos will pop up and you can then click on their photos, which will then allow you to click on a tab that says profile. In our donor profiles, you'll see their likes and dislikes, their physical characteristics, medical history, their family history, heritage, and if they have cycled before. At the very bottom of their profile, you can see results to each cycle that they've completed. Please keep in mind, however, that we only list fresh embryo transfer cycle results as frozen embryo transfers are too tedious for our team to follow up with regularly. When our donors start the process, they're brought in for initial testing. All our donors are tested for cystic fibrosis along with 20 of the most highly genetic related diseases. If a donor tests positive as a carrier for any of these diseases, they're not eligible to donate. Various other tests are completed like a baseline ultrasound to look at their ovaries and their uterus. We also look at their AMH level along with hormone levels, which gives us an idea as to their ovarian reserve. A mini physical and history re review is completed as well to make certain they are in overall good health. A mini physical and history review is completed as well to make certain that they are in overall good health. When looking at donor profiles, you'll see that they're marked currently matched, available, or banked eggs only. Banked eggs only means that the donor is no longer available for a fresh egg cycle, but does have frozen eggs in our egg bank. All our donors are allowed to cycle up to six times. So if they are marked currently matched, they may become available to you at some point. 
As a courtesy, we do allow you to add your name to up to three waiting lists. We do, however, re reserve the right to remove you from any waiting list once you have been matched with a donor. You're welcome to ask any of our recipient coordinators questions about the donors and their profiles. If there isn't enough information there for you, we would be happy to reach out to the donor with your questions. Every donor cycle takes about six to eight weeks from start to finish. A fresh donor egg cycle with a fresh embryo transfer from donor's period to your pregnancy test is likely eight weeks. We use the birth control pill and various other medications to synchronize your cycle with the donor. Your recipient coordinator will keep you up to date and give you specific step-by-step -step instructions. Our second cycle option, the frozen embryo transfer cycle, from your period to transfer is approximately three weeks. Keep in mind with this package option, we will not start any medications until you have embryos frozen. With a banked egg cycle, from your period to transfer is three to four weeks. We don't thaw your eggs until your body is ready for transfer. We do need the sperm on egg thaw day. The following are some common questions asked by recipients. How do I select my donor? When looking at our egg donors, I always tell my recipients that they should narrow their list down by physical features, characteristics, and then from there, look at their profile, look at their medical history, look at their heritage, look at their education. I want you to make an educated decision, so it's important to look at all the details. Is there a difference in success between a donor that's 20 and a donor that is 32? Our program allows any woman to donate between the ages of 20 to 32. We find that this is the most fertile age for any women and the difference in success is minimal. What do I do if I do not see a donor that I see fit? I have had recipients look at outside donor agencies or donor egg banks. If you would like more information, you're welcome to contact your donor coordinator. How do I know if a donor has banked eggs available? We do keep an egg bank list that is updated weekly. You're welcome to reach out to your recipient coordinator for our most up-to-date list. Is it best to use fresh or frozen sperm? We allow either fresh or frozen sperm. We use frozen sperm all the time and we do not see any difference in our fertilization rates. If your partner's semen analysis is very abnormal, it may be best to use a fresh sperm sample you can contact your physician or recipient coordinator for more advice. What happens if my eggs do not survive the thaw? With an egg thaw cycle or banked egg cycle, we expect 50% or more of your eggs to survive the thaw. Our goal is for you to have one to two good quality embryos to transfer. If this result is not achieved and a pregnancy does not result from your cycle, we will review your cycle with a physician and consider replacing your eggs. How do I know where my transfer will take place? Currently, we're doing embryo transfers in several locations. Please let your recipient coordinator know which office is most convenient to you. When do I pay? You're not required payment until you've selected your egg donor and made your match. For financing options, please contact your financial coordinator. Thank you for watching our recipient video. If you have further questions, feel free to contact your recipient coordinator.